Hi kitty cats, I am Amethysta and welcome to this behind the scenes for an article that I wrote uh, named The Myth of Fragility. Now I only published that article last night, but I'm sitting before you now, I haven't showered, um, I didn't put on any makeup you can see, because I recognize what I wrote might have, might be somewhat triggering might be somewhat uh, controversial. And I wanted to get these thoughts out of my head sooner than later. When I published it, or when I wrote it, one of the stories that, that inspired me is this story about um, sort of a myth of strength implying that something can stand against anything. Aesop had a, had a fable about the oak versus the rushes, you know, that the, the oak is supposed to be strong and the rush is not, but the rushes persist. And then there are also stories in, in other cultures about how, you know, the, the sea continues to come in and, you, you know, the cliffs ultimately erode, that, that despite it being granite, at some point that dissolves, you know, that nothing is permanent and that the better way to live our lives is not to be in somewhat, you know, in this false sense of rigidity or this false rigidity, but to be flexible and to allow what occurs to us to occur. Because believe it or not, the universe actually happens to us whether we wanted it to or not. So what might be controversial about my comments, I, I want to say I recognize completely that the transgender community is under attack. I understand that. There are people writing things on Twitter. There are people writing blog posts. And I do not want to diminish that. I do not want to diminish that violence is being done to our community. I will tell you right now, I do not recommend you put yourself in danger. I'm not trying to say go into crazy places and go, hi, look, I'm transgender. Don't do that. Because there are weird people out there. And I, and I say emphatically now, I do not condone this violence. I do not condone this hatred. Um, I believe that the singular most immoral act that a human can do to another human is to initiate the use of physical force. These people who are initiating violence, they are wrong. And uh, there is nothing that will stop me from believing that. Now, to go a little bit further into the idea of, you know, rigidity or, or strength, one of the things that, that sort of was in the back of my head was just the concept of alpha males, right? I mean, think about these alpha males for a moment. They need to bark. That is part of being an alpha male is continuing to show I am the alpha male. I am strong. I am going to bark. I am going to bark at you. What I think is important to remember is that many of these alpha males are pretending to be important. Most of these alpha males are betas, deltas, gammas. I can't remember my Greek alphabet well enough to go further because some of these people simply are not important. They may have a voice and people listen to them because they've listened to other things that these people have said, but they are not important. And we, we cannot allow ourselves to be intimidated by these people. A couple of points that I want to say about alpha males or just in general strength versus flexibility. A strength that is false, that is weakness. False strength is weakness. A rigidity born out of ignorance is fragile. Ignorant rigidity is fragility. Most people in society support us. Most people in just in the general population support us transgender people. They do. On a daily basis, I go out and I meet people. I've had women give me hugs. People I don't know give me hugs because they say congratulations. I've had men, uh, you know, some of them don't understand it, but many of them go, you know what? If you're gonna be you, 
You go do it, girl. Most people support us. To those of you who would go on Twitter and make ignorant comments, I'm just going to tell you, we're not going away. There are stories that go back millennia, 5,000 years, that include people in the LGBTQ uh, community. There are stories of homosexuality. There are stories of transgender going back 5,000 years. You may think that by eradicating us now, we will not be here in a thousand years or whatever it is you think is your utopia, but you're wrong. We were here 5,000 years ago. We're here today, and guess what? We'll be here 5,000 years from now. Hopefully with better makeup. I will say, we can learn to get along. Personally, I do not believe ignorance is immoral. Ignorance is only ignorance. And that gets cured quickly. That gets cured by learning. But I will tell you, if you, if you go at this with a desire to protect, because I mean, a lot of the uh, rhetoric that I hear is we need to protect the children. I want to state emphatically, the desire to protect is different from the desire to kill first. If I go after your child, and I'm not, but if I go after the child, your children, I will understand if you want to protect them against me. But my existence is not a threat. It's not a threat now. It wasn't a threat 5,000 years ago. It won't be a threat 5,000 years in the future when we have beautiful makeup. All right, and this was a behind the scenes for the article, The Myth of Fragility. Why I wanted to write that article uh, and hopefully this helped explain at least some of my motivations and certainly, you know, what I truly believe before anybody wonders if I'm condoning some of the acts of violence currently leveled at the transgender community. That article and this video are both supported by my Substack subscribers. The original article, The Myth of Fragility, can be found on my Substack uh, publication called Amethysta Dings. I will have links to both my subst uh, both to the article and my Substack publication in the show notes. Uh, if you are a Substack subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not a Substack subscriber, please consider subscribing and uh, getting more of this fabulous, <laughs> more of this fabulous content. All right, now let me leave you with a piece of wisdom like I like to do, which goes like this. Always be yourself, because most of the people you meet in the world aren't going to want to be your friend anyway. Bye.